Guys, what's going on? Adam from Say Exotics. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, obviously, it's something a bit different from the title. You probably already guessed. Uh, it's going to be a rant video. Not something I normally like doing. But you know when some things are just playing on your mind. Um, and the only way to get rid of them is just to do a good old-fashioned YouTube rant. So guys, um, just like I said, a bit of a rant today, um, just because I've got things on my mind I want to I wanna sort of share, um, get off my chest so to speak. Um, the reptile community. Now, uh, let me first start off by saying what a fantastic thing to be a part of. Um, so many people like-minded that you know have got the same ideas as you have got the same goals same visions same dreams and sharing that and being able to talk about it and share stories and, and pictures and videos um, and experiences good or bad it's what it's all about right so why do some people feel the need to just be total utter assholes now when you've got a YouTube channel, no matter what it is, no matter if it's in, you know if you're a vlogger, if you're doing what we do and in the reptile sort of game, um, whether you you know do it on sport or do it on cars or on photography or whatever it may be, um, you know you have a responsibility um, to sort of <sighs> kind of be careful what you post. In a way, I mean. What you're posting is your business. What you choose to put out in your videos is your business. But bear in mind, you know, people are going to see this. People are going to react to this. And if you're posting negative stuff about people, um, which is absolutely fine, by the way, if you've got, if you're watching a video on YouTube and you don't like the way someone does anything, or you don't like the thing they said, and you disagree with them then it's within your right to speak up and say because we as creators um, and youtubers can't put things online for you guys to see and not expect any criticism whether it's good or whether it's bad okay so you know obviously you're probably thinking pot kettle black right now um, I did a video um, a while back now um, about a YouTube channel I wasn't at the time I wasn't really happy with certain things that were, were happening on it um, for those that you do know um, just to clarify me and that person um, have since met uh, shaken hands um, we regularly uh, message each other um, that's fine but what you'll notice is I feel I done that video in a good way okay some of you might some of you did disagree but I feel I've done that video in a good way um, I aired a concern or an issue I had because that's my right to do so because if something's put in front of me online that's my right as a viewer to like it or not like it or whatever now although that's okay to do as long as you do it in a good way I've seen people um, and these are well-known people just completely do it the opposite way now if you've got um, a following, a big following, you have a responsibility. Um, if you have a camera and you have a YouTube account, you have a responsibility. You have the responsibility to um, be, let's keep saying it, but to be responsible for your content that you put out there. Um, first of all, you're not, you know, it's not everyone is going to like it. Not everyone will agree with your views, what you do, what you say, how you do things. It's just life. That's just human nature. Um, and they're within their rights to say so. I can't get upset if you guys tell me, Adam, you know, what you've done in that video I think was wrong. That's not in the best interest of the animal. Or 
that animal won't appreciate or whatever it may be you, you can say that to me I'm not gonna cry about it um, maybe we'll ask the one person that keeps disliking my videos all the time <laughs> you know but that's their right to do so not sure why they keep watching me just to dislike it but who, you know, who cares um, but when people um, go that extra mile to belittle to intimidate to just downright be slanderous towards them um, for whatever reason who cares you know cyber bullying is a massive massive issue in the whole world it's a massive issue now I don't know where you may be from but in the UK it's illegal cyber bullying is illegal it's a crime it's an arrestable offense okay um, but you know whether that does happen in other countries it, it, it blooming well should do but you know when you're going out your way to really want to hurt someone's feelings or ruin their reputation um, for, for no apparent reason or, or even if there is a reason you know there's other ways to go about it you know um, to try and publicly do that just to make yourself look big and them look small is 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 wrong okay and shame on the people that do that um, now I've got a friend in the hobby um, you know we've never met but we talk quite a bit um, and he's been through some crap with someone um, and he you know he's told me the story um, and you know it's a believable story you know it's not a story it's a version of events if you want to call it that um, and the crap that he gets from people is absolutely disgusting disgusting okay now if you've got a concern with someone take it up with them if it's a personal thing take it up with them don't post it on YouTube don't post it on Instagram on Facebook or, or any social media for the world to see because you're opening yourself up okay like I said cyberbullying um, intimidation they're all crimes here at least here in the UK they're, they're crimes I'm sure you know there will be in other countries as well or certain aspects of that will be illegal in other countries as well and you're liable to 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 prosecution you're liable to being sued and all that sort of stuff so why do it you know the reptile community you know is an amazing it's a family it really is now like families not everyone's going to get along um, we're going to bicker we're going to argue that's normal that's fine that's acceptable okay but what's not acceptable guys is when people are slanderous people are rude people are intimidating people try and turn people against certain individuals that's wrong this is not what YouTube and social media was intended for okay you know there's a lot of people that don't do Facebook I'm one of them I hate Facebook you know it's absolute rubbish because of things like this the old keyboard warrior and 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 things like that you know I'm not telling you that you can't have an opinion on someone like I said if they're putting content out for us all to see they gotta accept uh, expect some sort of negative critique right I know I do you know I, I get it believe it or not um, but you know we should be one we should be um, you know the gen genetic hunters got it right with the positivity movement you know as corny as it might sound it's it's a hundred percent bang on why are we all you know fighting each other why are we trying to belittle and ruin each other's reputations it's not what it's about if you've got a genuine concern with someone it's your right to do so like I did okay but I've done it in a I feel I've done it in the right way I got something off my chest at the time um, I didn't name drop I didn't um, do anything else I done one video that was it it was squashed nothing else was said or done you know I'm not going out of my way to try and ruin someone that's not what this is for that's not what I'm about that's not what I would do but people got to really start to think if they're sort of mixing themselves with people like that who like to do that is that the sort of company you want is that a sort of role model you want okay now you know I've seen big big and I mean big name breeders um, treat people like scum okay and it's wrong and it's darn right ridiculous and it shouldn't be allowed not just in society but it shouldn't be allowed in this community they're the sort of people we don't want in the community I don't care how big they are I don't care they've got 5,000 10,000 100,000 subscribers that means nothing okay if they're gonna be like that let's out them 
let's piss them off okay they don't deserve to be in this community because it is a family don't forget it is as corny as it might sound it is a family i have made so many friends in this hobby it's unreal i've never had as many friends as i've had in this hobby in my whole life okay i really haven't okay we might not be best friends and go to each other's house for tea and coffee and go out for a drink and get drunk um but they're friends nonetheless okay um there's someone we can talk to someone we can um go to we have problems share our successes with share our disappointments with they're friends they're family that's what they are so let's not accept behavior like you know i'm sure some of you guys have seen it as well you know it's not just an isolated incident it's it's a few that go around here and there let's not accept that let's 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 just stop that because it's absolutely ridiculous who wants to be a part of a family where individuals are out to get you that want to ruin you if you've got a personal issue with an individual don't put it on social media okay that's for you guys to deal with whatever it may be i don't care what the reason is don't put it on social media putting it on social media on youtube and facebook on twitter or on instagram and all that sort of stuff is wrong okay it is cyber bullying whether you think you're in the right or whether you know you're in the wrong it's the same the law sees it as the same a, a judge wouldn't say oh he was justified doing it you can't do it full stop so why bother and why are we sitting behind you know while we're sitting at home accepting it or laughing at it or writing comments and lol and um oh yeah he gets what he deserves it's rubbish why are you doing that it's disgusting if you've got a genuine concern with a youtuber with a a youtube channel a certain video it's your right to give your opinion across however you want to do that on a video on a post anything you want but do it in a professional respectful way also guys it's you know it, it might be these same people that are, are doing this sort of bullying um that are really well known in the hobby that people because they're well known because they might have 10,000 15,000 20,000 subscribers that they're the mutts nuts as we say here in the UK the mutts nuts the, the bees knees they're they're just like you and me just because someone's got a hundred thousand followers to someone that's got a thousand followers that person isn't better than them that person isn't more experienced than them that person isn't any way shape or form a better person than this one okay that just means people tend to like their content more than that guy simple as okay for whatever reason it is doesn't give them the right to talk down to that person doesn't give them to the right to belittle to to um to slander them to spread gossip to um you know i mean i'm not gonna say too much because if i say too much it would give it away to exactly who i'm talking about and like i said it's not what i'm here to do because one that's advertising the bully two it's gonna get him more views um and more likes and more subscribers because for some reason people like drama um maybe it's a natural human emotion that people like drama and confrontation but it's not the place to do it if you do it online it is cyber bullying and what really gets my goat up you're going to get individuals that do that i think it's okay to do it but what really pees me off is the hundreds of people that agree with them or try and you know put their noses up their ass because they're so big on youtube who cares they've got 10 000 15 20 000 subscribers who gives a flying yeah if they're wrong they're wrong okay if they're being a bully they're being a bully okay so why are you supporting them why am i seeing comments on things you know with laughing emojis and crying out with laughter emojis because someone's put something negative about someone why is that acceptable in any shape of life any any walk of life why is that acceptable to, to to do that okay that makes you just as bad as that bully just as bad as that person that's posting that that horrible stuff about people you're one of them that's that's you that's that that is you all over okay you might not be writing it you might not be posting it but putting your name to it in a comment with a smiley face or a laughing face or ha 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 that puts you in the same category as them let's not do that okay why are we so eager to brown nose 
bigger YouTubers, people with more subscribers. Why? Why do we do it? You know, they're no more better than than you and me, just because they've got more subs. Okay, I'm on like 1,300 subscribers, which is amazing, by the way. So thank you for that. But does that make me any less important than someone with 100,000 subscribers? Really? Does it? I don't think it does. I think that's ridiculous. You know, I'm a person. I've got feelings. I've got, um, you know, things that I do wrong. You guys tell me sometimes I do things wrong. Um, but you do it in a good way. You do it in a way in such I'm not going to cry about it and go, you know, he hurt my feelings because he said this bad about me. It's your right to do so if you do it in the correct way. So, guys, there's another issue I want to cover in this rant video. Um... It, again, it's it's about YouTube. It's about the hobby. Okay. Now, where do I start? Um, we're upsetting. So, earning money for YouTube in this hobby is bloody hard. Okay, it's hard. Um, I'm not monetized yet. I'm not far away from being monetized, but I'm in no rush. Okay. If I was in a rush to be monetized. I'd have a Facebook account sharing my videos and trying to get more people to see my videos. I'll be doing all sorts of advertisement to try and get my videos to, to more people, to get my, my watch hours up, to get monetized. It'll happen, whether it's next month or in six months or next year, it'll happen. Who cares? But when it does happen, you know, I really don't care about earning half a penny for every hundred views or whatever stupid statistic it is. I really don't care, it's not why I do this. You know, if I was doing this for money, I'm in the, I'm, I'm thick, because I'm not gonna make any money out of this, okay? Now, what I'm saying is, is, is there's certain individuals that keep posting on people's videos about how to make money. And that's fine, you know, if people are doing well off YouTube and they're making a, a buck or two, or a dollar or two, or a pound or two, whatever it is, and you want to share that to help others. That's a good thing. Don't get me wrong. That's a good thing. But you see individuals, and they're the same individuals that are posting on people's videos. It's not, oh, I loved your video. Great snake. You know, that was my favorite, this, that, and the other. It's, ah, oh, in two years, if you do this, this, that, and the other, you can quit your job, and you can be loaded, and you can buy a Lamborghini, and you can do this, and you can do that. And that's not really what, really people want to see because that's so far from the truth it's unbelievable okay don't jump on people's videos and put in the comments if you do this like i do you can quit your job and it's not gonna happen guys it's not not if you're in okay youtube can make you really rich it can make you really famous okay but not from reptiles sorry but it's, it's true you're not gonna earn millions through reptiles okay there are a small amount of people in the hobby that make good money from youtube a very very small amount of people all right you need thousands of thousands of thousands of views per video to even make anything decent you really do um it, it's amazing what you actually need to actually make good money and anything worth sort of shouting from the rooftops about so don't Please, guys, don't jump on people's videos and say, oh, yeah, if you make sure you go through all your videos and put five ads per video and, and do this and do that, you can quit your job. And it's, <sighs> Don't do it, because why are you trying to put that into people, okay? You've got some young kid come along, and maybe he watches my channel. Maybe he watches Gavin from Balls to You. Maybe he watches Miguel over at Always Evolving, or whoever it may be. Um, and they decide they want to get a snake and then they want to get a camera and then want to film and make videos brilliant that's absolutely brilliant the next generation coming through both in the reptile keeping part and the the video making part mashing them together absolutely fantastic that person's going to come and see these videos and you're going to be telling them oh do this and you can make loads of money and you can go on holidays every you know free to free holidays a year and you can get a really nice car and stop filling people with bullshit because 
unfortunately, that's exactly what it is, okay? Especially in the UK, and obviously it's a bit different to when you're in America maybe, because simply because of the population. You know, you've got a lot bigger or a lot larger amount of people in the US and in Canada, Australia, places like that, than the UK. We're a tiny island, guys, don't forget. We're an absolutely tiny, we're a small fish in a big pond. So naturally, our population is smaller, so therefore our reptile keeping population is smaller, therefore the people that do YouTube within that smaller reptile population is smaller. So it's very hard to, to make money from YouTube, like decent money or anything to sort of boast about or be able to go on a cool shopping trip with. It, it's very, very hard, very hard. Um, but if people can do it, brilliant. You know that's what it's there for. Let's let's take advantage. You know these advertisers want to pay you for advertising their product. So why shouldn't you get paid? 100% you should get paid. They shouldn't get that for free. Advertising is a multi-billion pound or dollar industry worldwide. It's huge. So why not have a slice of that pie? But do it in your own way. It will come. Okay. If you're if you're making good content, you'll get it quicker. If you're making sort of media content, you'll, it'll take a bit longer. You know, I'm taking a while to get it. Um, I'm not far off getting it, but when I do get it, it's going to be pennies. It's not going to be anything decent. Um, but like I said, it's not why I do it. Um, so just just be careful what advice you give people. If you're earning a thousand dollars or a thousand pounds a month for YouTube, honestly, from the bottom of my heart congratulations that's awesome I'd love to do that it's amazing but just because you're doing it doesn't mean everybody else wants to do it okay not everyone does this for the money clearly I don't because I don't make diddly squat from doing this and even when I get monetized if and when I get monetized I'm gonna still make diddly squat all right so it's not about the money 99% of the people that have reptiles and breed ball pythons or whatever it might be and do YouTube as well and not gonna make any money. So guys, that's gonna be it for today's video because I'm getting myself wound up about things like this. I'm gonna leave you with, please don't facilitate it. Don't support it. You know, you don't know about, you know, there's always two sides to the story. If, 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 if man A says this and man B says this, and then man A starts spreading all these gossip and he's saying, no, it's not true. Don't side with him. You don't know the facts. Okay. You only know what he wants you to know. All right. And nine times out of 10, when they're doing it in a bullying way and going above and beyond to try and ruin someone, they're the ones usually for the crap. They're the ones that are fa usually fabricating the story and telling porkies, okay? Um, and that's what you've got to look out for. Just be a bit smarter, guys, all right? Just be a bit more clever. Um, just because they're big on YouTube, like I said, don't be up their ass, all right? Don't be scared to say, oi, you're out of order. You shouldn't have done that. That's wrong. Don't be scared to say that, but no one does. Um, but guess what? I'm going to do it, okay? I don't care, all right? As long as I do it in the right way, like I've been discussing, I'm gonna do it. <sighs> so guys, I'm gonna leave it there, okay? Uh, leave you to think about that. And so to the guys that are here to enjoy my channel, thank you very much. Uh, people that are new, thank you very much. Please remember to, to subscribe if you haven't done already. Uh, drop a like, leave a comment, all that stuff. Uh, dislike if you didn't like the video. Um, and I'm gonna see you very, very soon.